In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate Trello. Trello is a fantastic tool for task management. I'm showing you specifically how to manage your household organizing projects. Hi, I'm professional organizer Katherine Lawrence, and I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. Breaking your organizing project down into manageable tasks and then efficiently managing those tasks using a tool like Trello is step three in my home organizing roadmap. Be sure to click on the link below to get the full roadmap and all six steps. In today's Trello demonstration, I'll show you how to create a Trello board, create a list of projects, create a list of tasks, add cards, map out your organizing calendar, create a checklist, and move tasks from day to day. If you are a coach, parent, or aspiring professional organizer, you can also use Trello to track tasks that you're helping other people accomplish. So let's get started. All right, so let's get into our Trello demonstration. Uh, and I should let you know that this is the web-based version of Trello, but of course you can use it on your phone or tablet. And I am using the free version of Trello. And there is a link in the description box below for you to get your free version of Trello. The first thing you want to do is create a board. And we're going to call this board Get Organized with an exclamation point. So we mean business. So this is going to be the canvas for all of your to-do items. And a fun thing you can do that I like to do is change the background of the board. And they have all of these fun photos already loaded. And I think I'll choose this one. This looks soothing. All right, let's start with our first list. And I'm going to customize this Trello board for our purposes of setting up organizing projects and also to do items. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this and you can choose which method you like best. So for the first list, I'm going to call this organizing projects. And my second list, I'm going to call this tasks. And then since I'm going to be using this as a calendar, I'm going to go ahead and create list for the days of the week. All right. So for our first method, which is going to be using a checklist, I'm going to add a card and I'm going to call this organize master bedroom closet. And then I'm going to double click on that card. And this is where I'm going to create my checklist. So I'm going to click checklist here. And I don't really care what it's called. I'm just going to keep the name checklist. That's fine. And now I'm going to write down all of the tasks that I need to do to organize that closet. So I may want to try on clothes for best fit. So I know I can eliminate clothes that don't fit well. Um, if I identify some things I'm getting rid of, I'm going to have to take them to a charity thrift shop. I want to put in matching hangers. That always quiets the visual clutter in your closet have those hangers match. 
I'm going to rehang clothes using the backwards hanger method. And all that means is that you're going to hang all of your clothes backwards. Um, I've got a picture of that. Let me see if I can throw it up here. There we go. And what that does is every time you wear something out of your closet, you just switch your hanger back the correct way. And after a couple of months or a season, you can see what you actually wore. And I'm going to sort clothes by color and also hang clothes by length. Now I'm not putting these in any particular order. Um, so obviously taking clothes to thr the thrift shop is probably going to be lower down in the list. So I can just click that and drag that. So now this is probably more in the order that I would go through my closet, trying on clothes to make sure they fit, purchasing new hangers, rehang clothes using the backwards hanger method, hang clothes by color, length, and then take donations to the thrift shop. So those are several tasks that you may accomplish while organizing your closet. I'm going to close out that card. And so this is the time blocking method. So if I decide I'm going to spend an hour organizing my closet on Tuesday night, I can just drag that over to Tuesday and then I can set my timer on Tuesday for one hour and I'm going to open this up and say, what can I get done in an hour and go through my list here until every task is accomplished. Now, the other way that you can do this is just add individual tasks to your task uh, list. So if I don't want to do this time blocking method, another option is to just add individual task. And you can use the task method as well. If you have tasks that you really need to do for multiple organizing projects, like you might want to get a label maker. And so that isn't for any particular organizing project, but you know, it's something that you want to do in this process. So we can add all of our tasks from our closet organization here. So we want to try on, uh, we can even break this down further, say, um, try on your summer tops, try on jeans. You can sort through your accessories like belts and scarves and purses. You might need to sort through all of your shoes. I know that's a big category in that closet are all of those shoes. So now you have a pretty good list of individual tasks that you may encounter during an organizing project. And then you can, same thing, just move each of those individual tasks onto your calendar. So let's say you know Monday, you just want to do a few things. Maybe you only have 30 minutes to work on your organizing project. You can try on clothes on Monday. And then let's say on Wednesday, you're going to sort through shoes. And let's say you're going to do accessories on Saturday and look at those belts and handbags and, and all of that on Saturday. And the nice thing about setting up your week this way is that if you don't get around on Monday to trying on those tops and jeans, but you know that's something you absolutely have to do to get your closet organized, you can move that to another day. So you can manage each of these tasks throughout the week. Oh, and last thing, let me show you once you've accomplished your task, I'm going to just right click 
on that task and I'm going to archive it. And if you're listing all of your projects in a checklist, then you can just check off the individual item once it's accomplished. Now, I really like this method because I can see how far along I am in the checklist. And checking things off gives me motivation to keep going. And once you've completed your entire project, you can archive this board. And now you will no longer see it on your calendar. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to get your free version of Trello by clicking the link below in the description box. And you can also pick up your copy of my home organizing roadmap by just clicking roadmap below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in videos on organizing, minimizing, downsizing, and living clutter-free. And in the comments below, let me know what your questions are. Let me know what your challenges are so I can make some videos that are relevant to you.